Today, we're going to walk through some basic troubleshooting with Garmin Sonar. We will cover common error messages, poor images, and the way that we can attempt to correct them. One of the easier issues to fix is if your sounder is displaying a transmission disabled message, meaning that the transducer has been turned off in the settings. To turn it back on, from the sonar page, on an echo map or striker unit, select menu, or on a GPS map unit, select options, and then toggle transmit to on. Almost every other transducer problem should start with the same troubleshooting step, checking power. Check the description below for videos covering how to troubleshoot power on your device. Make sure to fully check power before moving on. One of the most common issues is connection problems between the transducer and the sounder. This can present itself in a few different ways. Generally, if your transducer is having connection issues, you will be presented with a transducer disconnected error message. Or you simply may not have a sonar option at all. This can be caused by low power or simply just a bad connection. After checking power, make sure that the cables are fully seated into the back of the unit, and if there is a locking collar, that it is fully tightened. This does not correct the issue. We need to narrow down where our problem is. If you have access to a different device, try using that device with your transducer. If the transducer now works, you may have an issue with your device or device cradle. If you plug the transducer in and you still do not get a sonar option on the second device, it is likely that the transducer is bad. In either scenario, contact Garmin Marine Support for further assistance. Other things to consider for this issue include eliminating any unnecessary transducer extension cables, checking for any obvious corrosion on the connectors, and making sure a locking collar is being used. Another error message you might see is unsupported transducer. The first thing to try with an unsupported transducer message is to make sure your software is up to date. Check the link in the description for help with performing that process. The second thing to check is again, power. If you have checked both software and power and it has still not resolved the issue, contact Garmin Marine Support. Other common sonar issues relate to the actual image of the sonar. For simplicity, we will be focusing on traditional sonar, but it is the same for both clear view and side view. One issue you might see is a flashing or blank depth number. If your depth number is simply blank, it means that from the time the device has turned on, it has not acquired a correct depth reading. If the number is flashing, the transducer had a depth reading at one point, but has now stopped reading bottom. In this scenario, the first thing we want to check is that your transducer is in the water. It cannot give a reading when out of the water. If your transducer is in the water, make sure that it is pointing in the correct direction. Sonar works by sending a pulse down from the transducer that then bounces off of a target or the bottom of the body of water and then travels back to the transducer. This information is then calculated and compiled into the image that you see. If the transducer is not correctly mounted so that it points down, the sonar beam will bounce off of the bottom and then not travel back to the transducer. This means that the transducer is not receiving any information of where the bottom is, and provide either an incorrect depth reading or no depth reading at all. If you have a transom mounted transducer, ensure that it is mounted parallel to the water line and that it hasn't been bumped up by an object in the water or by your trailer. If you have a through or in-hole transducer on your boat, you will want to make sure that it has been installed correctly and that any dead rise angles have been accounted for. You will want to ensure that the correct one was used so that the transducer is parallel with the water line. Certain Airmar transducers are designed for different dead rises. Make sure that the arrow is pointing towards your keel. This ensures that the internal elements are pointed down. Aside from physical issues, having an incorrect frequency selected or even a transducer not optimal for your location may be causing an issue with acquiring a depth reading. The basic rule of thumb is that higher frequencies are better for shallower water, with lower frequencies being better for deeper water. For instance, a low band chirp transducer likely will have issues reading a bottom number in 5 or 6 feet of water. Move to deeper water for better results. If you have a dual beam or dual frequency transducer, you are going to want to pick the higher frequency if you are having issues acquiring depth in shallow water. 
The last thing that can affect sonar performance is cavitation in the water from your boat. If you notice that your depth number starts flashing when you start moving, it is likely that it is cavitation causing the transducer to lose bottom reading. It could be that the design of the boat, where the transducer is mounted, or something in the hull forward of the transducer is causing turbulence in the water. The only way to remedy this is to move the transducer into cleaner water. If you have checked all of the things that we have discussed and are still having issues, the last thing that we can attempt is resetting the sonar to default settings. From your sonar page, select Menu on an Echo Map or Options on a GPS map, then Sonar Setup, Installation, and then Restore Defaults. If your problem still persists, contact Garmin Marine Support for further assistance. And that's it! Thanks for watching.